How scary can something be that you can purchase a Toys R Us? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Ouija. As friends we've gathered, hearts are true. Spirits near we call to you. Can you show us a sign? even real okay can you even still buy a Ouija board yes you can via Toys R Us from Hasbro but buyer beware as it's currently rated just one star out of five on the Toys R Us website Kat and Tammy feel it's totally fake but the producers of this movie can take solace in that while Dark Soul was unhappy with the product because he couldn't contact his dead grandmother he does now feel his apartment is haunted and maybe Hasbro is just hoping that Ouija the Movie can help boost sales of Ouija the Board Game. Hasbro Studios is producing here, adding to their repertoire of films that now includes Transformers, G.I. Joe, and less successfully Battleship. But no matter what happens with Ouija at the box office, it's already a success for producer Jason Blum for that Hasbro connection alone. Without Ouija, we wouldn't have the upcoming Gem and the Holograms movie, another collaboration between Hasbro and Blum, and to some Gem fans, a horror movie in its own right. But make no mistake, Hasbro reached out to Blum for Ouija because of Blum's impressive horror track record, Paranormal Activity, Insidious Sinister, and The Purge. And another prolific Hollywood creator who's benefited from working with Hasbro is also at play here, Mr. Michael Bay, who, while famous for explosions, has a decent track record with horror himself, thanks to recent remakes The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Amityville Horror, Friday the 13th, and A Nightmare on Elm Street. And for a while, it seemed like Ouija would be a big Michael Bay-esque production, likened to Pirates of the Caribbean, with McGee and X-Men Simon Kinberg flirting with the film. But it ended up a low-budget, low-risk film, Blum's specialty. Styles White, who had a long career at Stan Winston Studios as a special effects production coordinator on big films like Galaxy Quest and Jurassic Park 3, makes his directorial debut here after having written a few screenplays like Knowing in the Possession and, as well as this one, Ouija. So is Jason Blum Hasbro's new favorite producing partner, or should they have stuck with Michael Bay's vision? This isn't a very good movie, but it still scared the crap out of me. And I don't quite understand Hasbro's thinking here, because who on earth would watch this creepy movie that's not even that good and say, man, you know what we should do now? Let's go buy a Ouija board. I mean, the one area where this movie succeeded was making Ouija boards scary. So I wouldn't even want to walk past one in the store, much less take one into my home. But why wasn't Ouija a very good movie? Well, I think the biggest problem is that it suffers from a horrible case of stupiditis. Now, the best horror movies are the ones that can come up with scenarios where the characters have to cooperate in the scenarios that are set up. For instance, they have to go downstairs or they have to open the door. But it's understandable that in some horror movies, they have to be a little dumb. They have to go downstairs. They have to open that door. But in Ouija, the characters were beyond dumb, beyond necessarily dumb. They did things and made assumptions that just were beyond any comprehensible level of reason, even for characters in a horror movie. And actually, while I was watching Ouija, I kept thinking of Scream, not just because Scream made fun of movies like this, but because Scream is a much better movie. I also thought of Insidious, uh, the franchise, and uh, also Chapter 3, which of course airs a trailer before Ouija, uh, because Elise Rainier, the actress who plays Elise Rainier, has a cameo here. And when I saw her, I was like, oh yeah, that's the Insidious lady. I wish I was watching Insidious Chapter 3, even though I don't think that looks that good. And the reason is, is because James Wan, I think, has really raised the bar overall for the horror genre. Uh, so much so that even his frequent producer, Jason Blum, can't compete, uh, or at least easily compete, and he has to really watch uh, you know, the, his quality control as well. So would, would I recommend that you see Ouija under any circumstances? Well, it is, it is around Halloween, so it, as I said, it is scary. So I think you could go and see it if you really had your mind set on it. Uh, and it is sometimes fun to watch a bad movie with friends. There were a lot of people yelling at the screen in my showing because the characters were just that dumb. Uh, and, you know, it has one or two twists that I think are somewhat interesting and I didn't totally see coming. So it's watchable, but basically, you know, since I was thinking of Scream and Insidious Chapter 3, any other horror movie would probably be 
more worth your time. So the, the only reason to see this is you want to be in a theater uh, and you've already seen Annabelle. All right, so that's my review of Ouija. What do you think of the film if you've seen it? Does it make you want to buy a Ouija board? Uh, share your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review, and you can check out some more episodes right now.